Welcome back guys, in this video I will be showing you how to make fire with a magnifying glass. Now this is just a regular magnifying glass. You can do this with any magnifying glass you can find. But uh, let's see, you just gotta have good dry tinder to get a fire going with this. Be sure my hair don't get in the camera. Sorry about putting my hand over the camera every now and again. That's just to be sure you guys can see good. So, I will be just using regular old dried out grass or hay. So, just want to be sure I'm not picking up any dirt in this because that don't burn too well for me. Watching out for that bob wire right there. So, just gonna get a handful. Alright, so, just a little bit more, and we will get this going. Alright, so, here is our bundle that we will be using for magnifying. So I want to go ahead and say that there is a certain way to do this. Um, it's the amount of distance you don't you want to get it just right. So all right. So I don't know if you guys can see this. But you always want a sunny day. Alright, so there will be a lot of beam. It's going to be really bright. See now it's already starting to smoke. You want to go for these small tip of these. Oh, already flame. You already got flame. There you go. And there he goes, guy. A fire with magnifying glass. This is a lot quicker than I expected worked very good for me so we're just gonna let that burn itself out and I'll tell you a couple more things about it uh, there's you want to uh, there's a little beam of light a little spot of light you'll see I'll put it on the ground here as you can see the farther I take it away it gets bigger you want to get it at the smallest it'll go now if I go too close it'll start to get bigger again you want to get it as small as you can that means all that heat in the magnifying glass is concentrated on one spot so and that is how to make fire with a magnifying glass you just gotta get it on some good fibers and it will uh, burn itself and as that brings on heat It'll spread to others and eventually it'll go more and more and boom, you got fire. So, in case you don't have hay in your area, which is kind of quite often, you could have, um, forget what these are called, Q-tips, yes, yes. So what you do, you just pull the cotton off of these right here. cotton will work for this, but it wouldn't make much more sense to have a fire bundle for the cotton to light on to other stuff, because I do not have much with me. So I'm just going to get this cotton here. And now, Of them. I don't want to leave my trash or anything, so now I'm going to get a tinder bundle. And for that, I'm just going to get more hay. But the beam of light will be on the cotton just to show you guys that it does work. The reason I'm using hay is because I know that works very well for me. Here, I'll try to change it up some. Oh, just a little strings of bark not too sure what it's from or 
exactly what it is, but that seems to be what it is. Um, yeah, so, give me some of this, and hey, by the way, you want, you always want to keep very dry, very dry, tender, because if it's a little wet, just a little wet, that dramatically decreases your chance of having a fire. So, now that I have my tinder bundle, I will get to the spot that I'm going to do this. The same spot, I drop the hay. I'm going to go ahead and break this up some. Alright, so, now we got that. Break it up a little bit. Now we got it broken up here. Gonna get it surrounded so when it starts flaming, other stuff will catch. So we got it right there. We'll get our beam of light right on it. There we go. Now you wanna. Hold it still where it stays in that one spot. See how fast we can get it to catch. Starting to smoke. I'm smelling the burn right now. This cotton, I don't think it's working too good for me. Not seeing any flame, it's just singeing itself basically. So. Now, now we know. Do not use Q-tips. As you can see here, all it has done is made a, just basically burnt it all. It didn't give off any flame or anything. So if you do this with cotton, you probably want to take a couple of cotton balls with you. Be sure you fluff it out though. But um, so I still want to see some flame. Let's get this bundle going. Screw the cotton. smoke already. This hay is very dry by the way. So that's why it's working so well for me. Be sure it's very sunny. Remember if you lose your sun you lose you lose your fire when it comes to this. There we go. Fire, right, man, that stuff is really hot. But, um, yeah. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe and like for more.